Okay, so here we are, stuck in traffic on the on the 40 East, uh, rush hour traffic at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon. I think it's a good moment to just reflect on the week here in Montreal with the uh, the NAFTA program, with the Aligned International University in conjunction with UQAM. Um, probably a big thank you to Vin Vincent Sabourin, Vincent Sabourin um, at UQAM for setting up an incredible week of appointments for us. A um, couple of impressions that uh, I'd like to share. One is we've really been struck as, though none of us are Americans per se, but we are uh, living and working in the United States in the San Diego border region. We've been really struck by the openness here in Canada to welcome us, to share, to be very disclosing, uh, a sense of excitement of, um, you know, I inviting us in. And, and, and we haven't found in terms of you know, setting up the appointments in San Diego, the same level of openness. And we wonder, and we're wondering, you know, is that a Canadian characteristic? Um, so that's something that struck us culturally speaking here. Uh, great openness, great transparency, a very welcoming, uh, rather than let's say suspicious, you know, what am I gonna get out of this type of thing? Uh, that's too extreme version of it. Um, the other piece that's been interesting in this Montreal week has been the design of the week has involved us going to many different offices and locations, the World Trade Center, the Ecotech offices, the Quebec International offices in Quebec City, the University of Laval, um, Bombardier, we went twice to the installation near the Dorval Airport. Um, we just been, you know, we went to the uh, business school at UQAM. We've been to the business school at Concordia. We've been everywhere. We've been sort of rushing around. But what that meant in terms of our impression of the city, it really added depth to our impression. So it's interesting. We, we might have heard more people had they come to us, but we would have um, missed the richness of going to people's offices, seeing what it looks like, you know, Hydro-Quebec, we went, actually that was a very interesting example, when we went to Hydro-Quebec, there was a student demonstration, and I was taking a taxi trying to join the group, because I was at another business meeting, practically couldn't get into the building because of this big demonstration. This is the kind of learning that, that you can only do when you're here. Uh, Quebec, as a, as a, I was going to say as a country, as a province, is what we call a consensus-based society. And so you see the labor unions have a big role, you see student uh, activism. We've also seen this in the UK. We don't typically see this in San Diego. We don't see a lot of strikes. We don't see students going on strike, although we may see that now that the UC system is, is um, really experiencing some major uh, uh, increases in tuition, etc. So overall, we were struck by the high level of trust, um, of, of the Canadians and transparency that we have met the, the, and, um, and we were also very much enriched by the experience of going to these different offices and locations and uh, I think universally we have a, a very positive impression of Montreal and, uh, and, and specifically the business environment.